for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. There ends the reading. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, Let's stand up. that he should give his only son to make a wretch his dream. story was salvation. Other things are secondary. But Lord, see how we get in church and we we'll use ourselves to pay the issues that don't add value, that are not connected to what you paid for. Lord, this morning, I pray that each one of us will come back to our senses. When Paul says, I was, when I was young, I thought like a child. I acted in everything in the church. That now I'm old. Lord, we have been acting like children. And no wonder we have been tossed to and fro. And Lord, every wind of doctrine that is cunning, that is scheming, we have been the victims. 
who have moved from churches to churches, from men of God to men of God, from prophets to prophets, from apostles to apostles, from pastors to pastors, but all in vain. Because, Lord, that was not your main thing. Lord, we really rebuke each and every one of us. Rebuke us, Lord. Speak to us, O Lord. And Lord, I pray that each one of us will rise up to the occasion that calls us to one thing, building the body of Christ for his goodness and for the glory of him alone. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I take your seats. My topic this morning is the fountain of our unity. But I want to take us to a reading in Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Verse 8. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is strong, is not quickly broken. As we reflect on this, I want you to keep this at the back of your mind. Two will keep each other warm. Two, when one follows, the other one picks. But here also this, a cord of three is strong that no one can tamper with it. When you go in Ephesians chapter 4, chapter 4, Ephesians chapter 4, just want to take us from verse 1 to 6. As a prisoner of the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just you are called to one hope. When you are called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, one Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Aren't you, today you're going to read more scriptures. But please keep this at the back of your mind. A code of three is stronger. I don't care how strong you are today, but as long as you are alone, I am sorry. The fountain of our unity. What is a fountain? A fountain is a source where something or things proceeds from or where something is supplied from. But in our context, the fountain of our unity is in Jesus Christ. And for, me to, for us to understand this, we understand this in the Trinitarian theory. I call it theory. The three persons in one, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. 
And these three work as if they are one. Work as if there is, as if the office is one. But when we come to operation, the office is different. There's an office of God the Father, which was general creation. There's an office of the, of, the, of the Son, who is Jesus Christ, which was complete salvation. Then the Holy Spirit. In your own time, you read John 14, talks about when I leave, I'll send you the Holy Spirit, who will be your counselor, who will be your comforter. And the Holy Spirit, as we talk now, is the one in operation. And what unto me, or you, who undermines, mark my words, undermines the Lord of the Holy Spirit. There are three, but one. Three, but one. When we go to unity, unity, and I'm, I'm, I'm reducing myself to only Christianity, unity. God's people coming together to form one body. God's people coming together to form one body. Of course, there are, many, there are many places, there are many areas where people can unite. I remember when we were doing our, our masters, the first thing I told the class, we are not competing, we are not second, and whatever. We are one, and we had Greek, and Greek was tough for everyone. But I remember we were 25. We combined our efforts together, we even got somebody to, to teach us. I think the one who would be failing would get 80. Yeah. Others would be having 98. Nine, me, I had 96. <laughs> but there was this secret. We worked as a team. We worked together. And in our class, it is on record that 98% graduated. Even in the two who didn't graduate, there was only two things. One was given a, a parish which had 16 churches. Then another one, his supervisor had not submitted the research. But remember your information, there are people we were with who had finished 20 what? Unity. There is a political yellow, red, green, and the moment they say, as the arrow, we are attacking this area, and all of them, they are speaking one language. My friend, <laughs> do, you know what the, do you know what the red did? The moment they said, come to this region, whether yellow, whether what, we don't care. Mm. And that was it. And you could not, even if you were the most excellent worker, excellent, brilliant PhD professor, a, a, a senior sixth graduate, shoo, take you through. Because there was a place that was uncompromising. There was a principle. And those cannot teach us Christians who bewitched us. Instead, we are all from Udweza. We are in the same constituents. We will, the three of us will go and stand in the same constituents. From Murueza, you are confusing us. Who do we support? <laughs> Again, in my class, when it came to elections and we wanted someone to represent School of Theology, I, I remember told you, we are going to get only one. This one was coming. We talked to him. Elder, please, we are working as a team. We are not going to allow you to go in. Please stop. <laughs> we went. While others were whatever for us, there was this 100% support of the class. Then he could get elsewhere. <sighs> Friends who bewitched us. Okay, let's go to a family level. See, husband and wife, how did you start the journey? How did you approach the matter? You are great. 
Your husband, or your, I mean your wife, your spouse, your fiance then had to go and bargain with the family. Okay, me an example. Now I was at St. Francis. I was earning 200 by the time we agreed to get married. And later I was increased to I would 400, then I would take home like three something. I remember I told this girl, go and tell daddy, I can raise this. Three million. And did I have anything on my account? No. <laughs> it was not there. I remember when I told my, 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 my elders, I said, you, how much do you have on your account? I said, nothing. They said, we are not going to accept your nonsense, your madness. You are not going to shame us. Please, we are not part of it. I tipped one of my uncle. I said, uncle, for you, you are going to eat. Don't worry. While others don't go there, for, but for you, just go there to present that you have a son. That is it. You are not going to go into any negotiation. And while others refused, and, and my uncle and, and enjoyed everything. The, nego the negotiation, whatever they asked him, he said yes. <laughs> the three million gave me more than four cows. And it is what I took. Who <laughs> tell me? I did not marry. I did not pay bread price. Who bewitched you? <laughs> we agreed. And then, Frank, you are bewitched. Now that you are a clergy, you begin to feel like as if that girl, oh my God, may God rebuke you. <laughs> because some of us, we have moved to levels. And levels, and levels, and levels. and the other poor girl, poor man. But remember, the levels you have climbed. Mm -hmm. Frank, be careful. You went to school, you left 20,000, and the woman who had to sail through 20,000 only, you did not leave anything, and now you have. Eh, eh. Husband, wife, children, remember, 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 remember. How it all started. But we feel big. And let me, maybe let me at this point bring in the knowledge of your body. In your own time, go and read First Corinthians chapter 12, from verse 12. Paul brings in a restoration of your body. We have the head, we have the eye, we have the hands, we have the legs. And he says, so should the, the head say, I don't need your hand? Should the eye say, I don't you need you? What? Should the eye say, each has to do their part. And it's when they are combined together, they make a complete body. Hey, wife, you don't know whether you are the head. You don't know whether you are the eye. You don't know whether you are the hand. I don't know whether you are children. I don't know whether you are the legs. Do you know who you are? Okay, raise a family. Do you know who you are? Please, if you are a leg, please be a leg. Don't be a knife. If you are a knife, if you are near, please remain a pass. We are depending on you. We, the, other, the hand cannot hear. The, the whatever, nothing can hear. Nothing can hear, please, apart from. But somehow it can be made to think it is small, it is what, you know, you are, all kinds of things. But excuse me, you leg like however big you are. So you're going to walk where you have not had to go. If I had time, I would have told you, please sit with your wife, sit with your children, and begin to ask them, please, are you the ear? Please do well. Please, are you the head? Please do well. Uh, are you the head? Please, head. We need you. When they remove you, we are all finished. We, like, when they remove you, the body is disabled. Brains. The mouth. Okay, let me even leave the other one. What about when you go in the high office where all of us go? But if that thing closed, 
Where is the pride of the, of the mouse that does what? Can it add any more? Oh my God. I am speaking to each one of us to rise up to your occasion that woman, girl, boy, man, elder, I need you. I need you. See, Reza, while others were fighting for Pasha and beans, Reza in COVID, they were mobilizing resources. I was amazed at how you raised over 700 million. The hand was working, the eye was working, and the head was working. I mean, when we're talking about unity, it's not like unity is not there. Unity is already there, and it is already achieved by our God through his son, Jesus Christ. Okay, let me take you further, because I want to relate you with what you have. In COVID, when they were distributing resources, there was a doctor. Do you know Dr. Estella, what she was? What if she slept? Mm -mm, just imagine that. Mm, I was not here, please, so don't put any feeling. <laughs> but also, also, mm -hmm, what about the van? What about the people? Can, could the medicine go itself? Oh, my friend, I need you. 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 I need you, I repeat. If you don't need me for me, I need you. When we come together and put whatever we have, the apostle, the evangelist, the teacher, the pastor, the miracle working man, when all they are put together, at the end of the day, the glory is to the Lord. And I want you to take that. I want you to go with this. When the eye is doing what it's doing, when the, eye, the leg is doing what it's doing, when the head is doing what it's doing, when the hands are doing what it's doing, at the end of the day, it is for the glory of God. Not your glory. You see, where we miss it is when we come to get our gains. And when we don't get it, we are frustrated. If you came to steal in church and you came on council, you'll be frustrated. <laughs> if you came to steal, you came in, 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 you came in, in cell, you'll be frustrated. You came to get, to get a girl. They are, going to, they are going to bring you down and you'll be frustrated. But if you came for a ministry, for a service, oh my friend, the Lord will make one of them meet you. I need you. Friends, I want you to mark this. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They are our source. They are what? Please don't look for any other source because all other sources will go. Uh, when you go in Genesis chapter 11, when they said we are going to build the Tower of Babel, the Lord confused them. When you join together, like you want to remove this government, even you at one time, they also mobilize and remove you. But there is this unity. There is this unity that no man, no woman will ever tamper with. The youth who are here just you know, in 50 years, all these elderly people, very few will be coming back to church. In 50 what? Including me. But also here is this. You who are youth, in 20 years, excuse me, you no longer be a youth. You, you, will also see, you will also hear some people, <coughs> ancient. <laughs> the world is moving at another level. So be careful. You need your parents, they need you, and they like, like your children will need you. Friends, we are one in the spirit, we are one in the body, we are one in faith, we are one in the baptism. Which name were you baptized in? In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, you, Mchiga, so for you, 
Anyway, let me know. I, I would have gone into all of those. Hmm? This is Muchiga. Which name? Whether a Nyankole, a Chiga, a Nyarwanda, a Tori, a whatever. Name all of them. When they come under, whether you are under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Forget your tribe or whatever. Forget your whatever. All of them, you bring them at the feet of Jesus. That's why a Muchiga went and picked the Mutoro and they are happy living together. She could have been here, but she's not well. But I want to bring this to you. Jesus is the equalizer. Uh -oh. Our unit, Jesus is the equalizer. Jesus is the one who removes all other boundaries. When you go in Ephesians 2, Ephesians 2 from verse 10, it is talking of mm, unity, but in this sense, uh, there, there is you use the other one was a, a, a Gentile, another one was a Jew, circumcised, and uncircumcised. No, all that was removed. Whether circumcised or not circumcised, whether rich or poor, whether slave or master, whatever it is, we are one body. Hello? Hear this. Whether you want or you don't want, you have to work with us. We have to work with you. Whether we want or not, we have to work with you. If you are not ready, then you will be sacked. Hey, these are hard things, but they are true. I was in a church. I saw how people fought. The clicks. This one and this one, all of them were disbanded squarely, including the priests, including council, including the congregation. All of them were disbanded squarely, squarely. All of us were losers. No one gained in that fight. Christ is beyond your needs. Our unity is beyond I need a job. Our unity is beyond I need a wife. Our unity is beyond I need money. Our unity is beyond even your life. Did you hear me well? Let me go to, to verse 13. Of Ephesians 4. Until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Unity is work in progress. Unity is work in it's not yet over. Hey, uh, 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 the building committee, it is not yet over. Hey, compassion, it is not yet over. All oh, ministries, it is not yet over. We still need con concerted effort to move. The roofing stage where we are going, if we are not careful, I am for roof, whatever. I am for, there are three types. And you all be confused. And you can't agree. I don't know now, maybe in the council, you do what? You fight. Me, I need. Kajans. The other one I need. And, okay, at the end of the day, whose, whose business is it? When we remove ourselves and say, this is God's business, then we shall agree and we will mobilize resources and we get there. Check how people work through counseling. There is this silent lady who mobilizes us who are who, in through our birthdays. She's silent. Lydia, you do not know what she's doing. You have no idea. Okay. Okay, maybe. But see, Colin, do you know even how resourceful he is to you? Or oh, you don't you know? Who do it to you? <laughs> but see, someone wants to pull him and. <sighs> Uh, 
until we get out of childish thinking, stupid thinking, evil thinking, then forget about unity. It's until we come to our senses and say, you know what, my brother? We have no problem. You know what, my wife, we have no problem. My wife, please, it is the other, it is the other, the other prostitute who had, mis, who had, she had misguided me. But I am sorry, I am back. You know what, sweetheart, it is the other command who has disorganized me. But sweetheart, I realized, no, 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 no. Actually, you are too handsome, too great, too, 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 too. Ah, and you know what? You go. Let me finish with this. We, we, we come from a family where we are over 10 people, ch children. We had our big brothers, two of them. One of them had nothing to do with the family. It was him and his family only. But remember, we are coming from where you have even to dig for food. But, but one of them who managed to sail through and went to, to a town in Kabali, we thank God for him. His eyes were opened. And when his eyes were opened, why did they say, hey, you, you want to use my soap? Or you, you go and tell your mommy that she needs to do something else. The other one, I remember, he was the first person to bring a mattress in 1990. He sailed through. He educated the ones who were able. The ones who were not able, he supported their businesses. Let me bring for you to the quick whatever. Later, he went into a loan with individuals. They wanted to take his house. It is the other people, the other siblings, who each and every one got about three million over one over what, and we put together and we restored the house. As if that was not enough, he later lost the job. His firstborn was doing a diploma. A daughter was joining university. The other, the other three were down. Even now he has no job. But one of the daughters studied from Chitend. And that one is now doing a degree of medicine in KIU. He has no coin. In Chitende, you know. You know how many teachers there. You know how many can put children there. You know. As if that was not enough, a daughter finished from Makerere. University be calm. But <laughs> be mindful of this. It is these who were little, who were useless, who had nothing, but he picked them, he touched them, and see, now they are touching him. <laughs> and he has been able to say it through, not any job, not anything, but <laughs> let me take you to your home. What are you doing in your home? What are you doing? What are you doing? Please, I wish you were with your wife. You would ask her, Madam, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing to ourselves and to our children? What are we doing? What are you doing to yourself? What are you? See what hell you are putting your family into. The other family, unfortunately, the other brother of mine died. Even when we try to come through the assault, we are thieves. We want to take things. I want to tell you, they are miserable, and it pains us, because it is hard for them to trust us. They think we want to take their things. The other family, we, we even told them to, to go to a higher level. They even refused it. The highest was a teacher. But this was a man who he was loaded. In the Kabbalah, when you have heroes, man, eh? <laughs> You can have heroes here, but not in Kabali. But see, it is all. It is all. It is all. So who do you think you are? Because you are the CEO of, huh, let me not mention some organizations, but you just know. Soon we shall, we shall come back here. But how many have you helped to come up I pray 
for each one of us, wherever we are, hmm? wherever we are, that we rise up to the occasion. Then verse 14 will be clear that we will no longer be children to be tossed here and there because of scheming of wicked men. Come back to your senses. I have to finish because I don't have time. But I want you to take this home. One baptism, one faith, one hope. All in all through Christ. And when we attain the fullness of unity, then the glory goes back to God. A building will be strong if all they work together. Together. Will we work together? <laughs> let me, this one is hard, but let me say it. If you think you're a great man, who made you great? If you think you're a great man, who made you great? So why did he make you great? What was the purpose? So that you'll be great, and you'll be great for it. They will suck you. <laughs> okay, if they don't suck you, you die. <laughs> this is hard, but true. But then what? Will your greatness live on? Will it live on? With the chaos, the confusion, the disorganization, whoever rises up, you hit on the head. Whoever rises up, you hit on the head. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I wish I <laughs> Let me leave you. <laughs> Together, we are great. Apart from each other, we are weaker than ever before. Let me finish with this testimony, of this, uh, this issue which I'm handling. I had a friend of mine who was working in church. Everything was well. Church sucked him. And then he removed his family from church. He died. As I talk now, we are stuck. The woman is left with her three children in a big house. The woman has no church. The woman has no friends. The woman is nowhere. I was there. I felt pain. I am helpless. And I, 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 maybe I was like, maybe I sleep here, but I am a reverend. I sleep in this place. Maybe they say something. <laughs> you see pain. Not because you died. Uh -uh. The pain is the confusion you left them in. <laughs> My prayer. We stop our nonsense. You are running out from church to go away. You want to go away. The world will eat you, eat you, and eat you until you are no more. Come back to your senses. Come back to church. If you are nigh, be a nigh. If you are a leg, be a leg. If you are a head, be a head. Whatever you are, bring it here. We need it. Then we shall be winners in Jesus' name. Amen. Bind us together, together, Lord. Bind us together with cords that are not be broken.
Almighty. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, what are you? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Let that neighbor tell you what he or she is. Because you need what she is. You need what he is. Amen. Yeah. To God be the glory. A big hand of applause to the Lord God Almighty who has gifted us differently and causing us working together. Last time I said unity does not mean conformity. Unity does not mean and I told you we are working together, we are three but we have differences. Eh? I cannot raise my voice the way he raises it. <laughs> 